what's going on average tech guy here and today we are back more tech more reviews as you can see i got my ipad right here on my charging pro stand and i got my macbook over here this is the 14 inch the 2021 model now we want to talk about universal control because this thing has possibly been on the market for about two years or so now apple has been talking about it and we finally got universal control so today Let's talk. All right, so I got my handy trackpad here, my 2022 version, the one that's silver on the sides and black on the top. And we are just gonna talk about universal control because this is something that Apple users have been looking forward to for a long time. And if you don't know what universal control is, it's just a way for you to be able to basically talk to these devices via the mouse on the device or the mouse that's connected to the iPad. So the trackpad that I have is right now connected directly to the iPad Pro that I have on the charging stand. And if you notice, I'm gonna, you can see the, tr the cursor moving around on that screen, just like that. Okay, so we know the cursor. Now, if you wanna move over to this Mac that I have over here, you just drag it and now the mouse is over here. It's kind of hard to see, but you can see that I'm activating right there. Now let's go ahead and change this background because I want you to be able to see what we're doing. Let me make that dark. There we go. All right, so now that you can see a little bit better on the screen, you see the mouse going over here. And then if you go back to this screen, you are coming to the iPad and the iPad now has the mouse over here using that cursor. Okay, so we got it. So what do you actually need for this to work? So your iPad has to be updated to the latest firmware, which I think I'm on like 15.4.1. And your MacBook has to be on 12.3 point something or like 12.3 so you have to have the latest firmware update on both of these once you do that these devices can talk to one another now a lot of people say that once you do that it's right out of the box this is going to work that is not true you're going to actually have to come into your settings on your macbook and once you're in your settings on your macbook you're going to go to display once you're in display you're going to go to display settings once you're in, sorry, not display settings, you're gonna click on universal control. Once you click on universal control, all these boxes will not be checked. I need for you to go in and check all these boxes. So all of this stuff will be in the beta form, but it will allow you to use universal control. Now, the other biggest question that I have is, can you actually swap these screens? And the answer is yes. So you can pick that screen up, put the iPad over here, or you can put the iPad over here. So the screens can swap places with, without you actually changing the device places. Now that we got that out of the way, you see that we do have control over both of these devices. We can do whatever we need to do. Like let's say um, we need to use gestures over here, go back over here, and let's say we need to change something over here. You can do it. But what about file transfer? Because one of the biggest things about universal control is can you transfer those files from device to device? So let's say I'm over here on my iPad and I go down to files and let's see, what do I have that I can probably just send over really quickly? Um, this is mm, um, this is a quick start guide for a ventilator. I'm going to just drag and bring over here and let's see if I can drop it on the desktop. And there it goes. If I open it up, there we go. We got the whole thing for the ventilator quick start guide. Everything is good to go. And let's say I wanna drag this sign in sheet that I just created for my job over here. I'm gonna bring it back into this file section. Now, I did not show up in my file section. Let's try this one more time. Can we do it? Uh, no. So it's not transferring over back into this device. I'm gonna try one more thing. Come over here, sign in sheet and it actually just kind of disappears once you get back to the iPad. Oh, there it goes. So it actually did, it looks like it may have worked. Let's try one more thing. Um, let's see. Nope, that must've already been there. So the dragging from the iPad over into the computer, it works. 
files, you got it. The dragging of files from the computer over into the iPad, that is not working yet. Now, if you do have a way around this, let me know, drop a comment below so that we can all get that feature and that benefit. But like I said, this is still in beta. Keep that in mind when you're using it. You're still using a beta product and that is what you're going to get sometimes. Some little hiccups, but for the most part, I have been enjoying using this because I use these devices a lot together in tandem. And now I can have things open over here, coming over here and just go back and forth between these two devices. So I love it. I like the concepts. I just hope that Apple keeps going forward with universal control, helping us to be more productive. But this is just a little productive setup that I have right here. My MacBook 14, my iPad 12.9, my charging stand, my trackpad, Magic Trackpad, works with both devices. And like I said, I do have this directly connected to the iPad itself. And over here, it's still working. So Universal Control gets a big thumbs up in my book. Hopefully it keeps growing and keeps moving forward because that's what we like to see from Apple. So that's been it. Universal Control is finally here. It's working, it's great. I love it, can't say enough about it. Until next time, hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Average Tech Guy out, peace.